Hello. 22nd of April 2017, 06.33 hours. Let's have a look at the weather. Yeah, it's cloudy, it's cool, there's a bit of a breeze, there's no rain, still a drought. I'm off to Newport. I'm gonna try out the new Starbucks. New because it's only been there about a year. Oh my. Um taking the dash charger. One plus you make lovely, lovely, lovely hardware. You need to sort out your software. Honestly. Right, okay. So up that way. Yeah, Starbucks. Radically. So I'm Starbucks out and I'm inbound to the Queen's Hotel. I'm not sure about breakfast. You'll see. So we'll start with the carpet for Mr. Manning. And I'm having a half. The thing is, you go to the bar and the first pint that you see, in fact, the only pint that you really see, is Otter Head at 5.8% alcohol by volume. So let's start with a half. Now we move on to the John Wallace, where they have green beer. Mmm, malty, mm, a little bit hoppy. Mmm, strong, full body. Yeah, nice, better finish. B plus in a bit. More of your winter warmer. Bye, right, Jiminy, the sun's come out. Could be summer. It's not. Colour balance is a little bit warm. It'll get there. Nice bit of new carpet for Mr. Manning, because he worries about these things. This is from Glamorgan Brewing. I was having a talk to Big Kev about this, saying, yeah, he'd like to like them, but uh, they're not a Brecon Brewing, but they could be a lot better. Although, the brewer's number one beer was Thunderbird, which I like a lot. This is Welsh Cake Stout at 4.5% alcohol by volume. Oh, by the way, they just put the green beer on. Nice bitter stout, nice bitter finish. Just a little thin though, that's the only thing. Yeah, B plus. But I like the burnt coffee notes. Sound like I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, B plus. It's green. It's called Sign of Spring by Stonehenge Ales and it's 4.6% alcohol by volume. And it's just come on. And I'm not sure. It's cold. Get the carpet in. Not much of an aroma. Tingly on the tongue. Slightly bitter finish. According to the barman, bar manager, bar person, it's made with real green, whatever that means. Mm. Gentle bitter finish. Nothing special, I think there's a technical term. Not unpleasant. Nice finish. E plus. The sun is out. It's I'm full of green beer. And I've just been to Argos. What a day. Real wooden flooring in James to Manning. 
And uh, I've mentioned the Tudor Brewery before on the way up to um, Albert Larry. 3.8% alcohol by volume. Volume? Whatever. Blorange. Blorange? Let me just check. Is it Blorange Pale Ale? Blorange. It's Blorange, which is out of anyway. Golden Ale. I'm not sure about golden, nor amber. A little bit too cool. Hmm. That's nice. I like that. Nice bit of finish. It's a bit cold at the moment, so let's see. Warm it up with the hand. However, I'm gonna give it a preemptive D plus in a bit because it is rather pleasant. Heading towards the harbour fish bar. Of course, not going to get the harbour. And chips with vinegar. What would we do without vinegar? I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah. Sounds like Sheldon Cooper there. Sorry. Ooh. Already al fresco. A tiny rebel. So I'm downstairs in the tiny little bar in Newport. It's the man in. Look at this little wood flooring. And settees. Okay, this is the Super Saison. 7.4% alcohol by volume. On the other side of that wall is where all the magic occurs. It's the cellar. Okay, Super Saison. Tiny Rebel, 7.4%. Oh, it smells Saison y. We've got that bubblegum sort of banana ish taste. Oh wow. Strong, hoppy, fruity, saison y. D. Quite easy. There is a term, mainly on the Real Ale Twats forum on Facebook, that says bus. And it's about things that are really good. This is out this week, it's Human Cannonball by Magic Rock from Huddersfield. This is a DIPA, double IPA, 9.2% alcohol by volume in a tiny rebel blanded glass. Oops, slurry. It smells lovely. It's got that sort of fruity, bitter, wonderful aroma. Oh wow, extremely fruity, slightly less bitter, you get it mainly in the finish, you don't get that 9.2%, B plus plus, and a bit, definitely and a bit. This will do for me, Buxton Brewery. Bar Skyline of Berlin Weisse, 4.9% alcohol by volume. I like Buxton, they're a the great brewer. Ooh, that's B plus plus in a bit. Nope, I'm going back. A minus. Sharp, acidic, tart. And wonderful. Oh wow, that is great. And hashtag tiny Velma. This one's for you. <laughs> 